right now, as you're watching this video, our entire solar system is racing through space at over 500,000 miles per hour towards something called the Great Attractor, a gravitational dense region of the cosmic web so massive it's pulling entire galaxy clusters toward it. But that's just the beginning. Scientists have discovered that above our solar system lies a cosmic battlefield where gamma ray storms rage with the power of a billion suns, while below us stretches an invisible ocean of dark matter currents that could reshape everything we know about space. The James Webb Space Telescope just revealed structures so enormous they dwarf our entire galaxy, and what we found changes everything about our place in the universe. Most people think space around our solar system is just empty darkness, but the truth is far more incredible. We're actually floating inside a protective bubble called the heliosphere, and beyond its edges lies a realm that would blow your mind. If you're fascinated by space discoveries that challenge everything we thought we knew, hit that subscribe button because we're about to take you on a journey through the most mind-bending regions of space that most people never hear about. Let's start with what's directly above us. When astronomers point their telescopes toward the galactic North Pole, essentially straight up from our solar system, they're looking through one of the clearest windows into deep space. This direction takes us away from the crowded disk of our Milky Way galaxy, where dust and gas normally block our view. And what they found there is staggering. The Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope discovered two massive structures called the Fermi Bubbles, gigantic lobes of high-energy radiation that stretch 25,000 light-years above and below our galaxy's center. To put that in perspective, that's about the same distance from Earth to the center of our galaxy. These bubbles are filled with particles moving at nearly the speed of light, and they're so energetic they outshine everything else in gamma rays. But here's what makes this discovery truly remarkable. These bubbles were likely created by our galaxy's central supermassive black hole during a violent feeding frenzy millions of years ago. When Sagittarius A star, the four million solar mass black hole at our galaxy's heart, devoured massive amounts of matter, it blasted jets of material straight up and down, creating these cosmic monuments that still glow today. Moving further out, we encounter something even more mysterious. Our solar system sits inside what scientists call the local bubble, a region of space about 1,000 light years across that was carved out by multiple supernova explosions over the past 10 to 20 million years. These stellar explosions literally blew away most of the gas and dust in our neighborhood, creating a cavity of hot, thin plasma. The really fascinating part is what lies at the edges of this bubble. As our solar system moves through space, we're approaching the boundary where this hot, empty region meets denser clouds of interstellar material. When we cross that boundary in a few thousand years, it could dramatically change the shape of our heliosphere, the protective magnetic bubble that shields us from dangerous cosmic radiation. Now let's talk about what's below our solar system because this is where things get really wild. Beneath the plane of our solar system lies a region that astronomers are just beginning to understand. The cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang itself, shows a strange cold spot in the southern sky that's about 70 microkelvin colder than it should be. This CMB cold spot spans nearly 5 degrees across the sky and represents one of the biggest mysteries in cosmology. Some scientists think this cold spot might be evidence of a supervoid, a region of space with far fewer galaxies than normal, stretching hundreds of millions of light years across. Others propose something even more extraordinary. It could be the scar left by our universe colliding with another universe during the first moments after the Big Bang. But the real game changer is what we're discovering about dark matter in these regions. Advanced computer simulations suggest that beneath our solar system, invisible currents of dark matter are flowing like cosmic rivers. These dark matter streams are the remnants of smaller galaxies that our Milky Way has consumed over billions of years. The Gaia spacecraft, which has mapped over a billion stars in our galaxy, has detected subtle wobbles in stellar motion that suggest these dark matter currents are real and actively flowing through our region of space. Some of these streams may be passing right through our solar system from below, carrying with them the gravitational fingerprints of ancient galactic collisions. Here's something that will really blow your mind. 
Scientists have found evidence of primordial black holes that might be drifting through these southern regions of space. These aren't the black holes formed from dying stars, but ancient black holes created in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang. They could be as small as asteroids, but as massive as mountains, and they might make up a significant portion of the universe's mysterious dark matter. The search for these primordial black holes is heating up because they could solve one of the biggest puzzles in physics. If they exist in the numbers that some theories predict, they could explain why galaxies spin faster than they should and why the universe's expansion is accelerating. But perhaps the most incredible discovery is how all of these structures connect to something much larger. Our entire local group of galaxies, including the Milky Way and Andromeda, is part of an enormous structure called the Laniakea Supercluster. This cosmic web of galaxies spans over 500 million light years and contains the mass of 100 million billion suns. What's remarkable is that much of Laniakea's mass lies above the plane of our galaxy, stretching northward into space. We're not just orbiting within our galaxy, we're part of a vast river of galaxies flowing toward the Great Attractor, that gravitational anomaly I mentioned at the beginning. Recent observations have revealed that this flow isn't random. The cosmic web, the largest structure in the universe, consists of filaments of dark matter and galaxies separated by enormous voids. Our solar system sits at the intersection of several of these cosmic highways, with matter flowing both above and below us in patterns that stretch across billions of light years. The Planck satellite and other missions studying the cosmic microwave background have shown that these flows create a subtle but measurable effect on the ancient light from the Big Bang. The fact that we can detect our motion through this cosmic web by studying 13.8 billion year old light shows just how interconnected everything in the universe really is. Now, here's where things get really interesting for our future. The Voyager probes, humanity's most distant ambassadors, have already crossed into interstellar space and are sending back data about what lies beyond our solar system's protective bubble. Voyager 1 exited through the northern edge of the heliosphere, while Voyager 2 took a southern route, and they're finding that space in these directions has different properties. The southern route that Voyager 2 took revealed that the interstellar magnetic field below our solar system is stronger and more organized than expected. This suggests that the space beneath us might be shaped by large-scale galactic structures that we're only beginning to understand. Future missions like the proposed interstellar probe will venture even further into these regions, potentially reaching distances of 1,000 astronomical units from the Sun. That's 1,000 times farther than Earth's orbit. These missions will give us our first detailed look at how our solar system interacts with the galaxy's magnetic fields and dark matter structures. The implications of these discoveries extend far beyond pure science. Understanding the cosmic environment around our solar system is crucial for planning future interstellar missions and protecting astronauts from radiation during long-duration space flights. The Parker Solar Probe and Solar Orbiter missions are already studying how our Sun's magnetic field interacts with these galactic forces. What we're learning is that our solar system isn't an isolated island in space, it's part of an incredibly complex, dynamic, cosmic ecosystem. The structures above and below us influence everything from the shape of our heliosphere to the flow of cosmic rays that can affect our climate and technology. The next decade promises even more incredible discoveries. The James Webb Space Telescope is already peering deeper into these regions than ever before, while ground-based observatories like the Vera Rubin Observatory will map the cosmic web in unprecedented detail. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will search for primordial black holes and study dark matter flows, potentially solving some of the universe's biggest mysteries. As we continue to explore these cosmic frontiers, one thing becomes clear. We're living in the most exciting time in the history of astronomy. Every new discovery reveals that the universe is far stranger, more beautiful, and more interconnected than we ever imagined. If this journey through the cosmic structures surrounding our solar system amazed you as much as it did me, smash that like button and subscribe for more mind-blowing space discoveries. Drop a comment below and tell me which of these cosmic phenomena surprised you the most. The gamma ray bubbles, the dark matter streams, or maybe those primordial black holes. 
And if you know someone who loves space as much as you do, share this video with them because everyone deserves to know just how incredible our cosmic neighborhood really is.